Hello everyone and welcome to another Daily Dose of Drupal. Today we're on episode number 235. As always, I am Shane Thomas. Make sure you're following me on Twitter at smthomas3. Today we're going to be talking about the Drupal 8 Override Node Options module. And this is a useful module to provide additional permissions for content editors on your site. So if you remember, if you go back to the past two episodes, two episodes ago we talked about the Publish Content module. The last episode we talked about the View Unpublished module, and this time we're talking about the Node Override Options module. So we're on the Override Node Options page. I think I said Node Override Options or Node Options Override, but it's, con it's kind of a mouthful. Override Node Options it is. It's drupal.org slash project slash override node options. We're on the 8.x-2.4 version today. And it says it allows permissions to set each field within the authoring information and publishing options on the node form. So if you look here, it's going to provide some permissions for us. Let's actually take a look and see it in action. So you can see we're on the module page here. The override node options module is turned on. There's a configure and a permissions link. If we go to the configure page, you'll see there's a checkbox to turn on general permissions across all node types. That's if you want to be able to have a permission for um, just globally turning things on or off. So you might have like an admin role that you want that for. Um, then there's a sp specific permission for each individual node type, which maybe in this case, if you remember back a few episodes, we were talking about how to build a kind of a simple content workflow where I maybe had a content editor that I only wanted to be able to edit and publish articles on my uh, my site, but not be able to edit the actual uh, basic pages. So if I wanted to build that, I might want the specific permissions for each individual node type to be turned on. We'll just leave that at the default. And if we go to the permissions page, you'll see there's going to be a whole bunch of permissions. So a lot of these modules we've been looking at lately are just changing and providing a lot of additional permissions. So do we want to be able to enter a revision log entry? No, I don't want my content editors to be able to do anything with revisions right now. But I want them to be able to override the authored by option for articles, the authored on option, so they can change when it was authored. I want them to maybe be able to promote it to the front page, sure. I'm not really using that, but let's say I was. And then override the published option. And I don't want them to change the revision, but why not sticky if I wanted to use uh, the sticky option. And then I obviously could set if I wanted to override all content types. So if I had an admin, you know, in this case, I'd, you know, I'd want that all checked. Maybe I had a content administrator that would have access to all the content on the site, and then I had a content editor that would only have access to the articles, or something like that. You can you could see how it, it might be useful. If I save it, and now I go to a user that with that content editor role, you'll see I have an article here. And if I edit, I now have access to this authoring information, this authored on, promoted to front page, and sticky at the top of lists checkbox. You can see I don't, I don't see everything. I don't see anything about revision logs, anything like that. But I also see a published option, which I wouldn't have had before. So they can't do everything. They can only do what I want them to be able to do um, based on the specific content type and their user role that this user is a part of. So this was another really simple module. It's very useful if you need fine-grained permissions. So if you're building a site and you have different types of user roles that need to edit different types of content, this is very useful for being able to configure what exactly within those node options you want them to be able to edit. So that's it for this time on the Daily Dose of Drupal. Uh, check out the past videos on the published content, the view unpublished, the override, now this override node options module. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below on YouTube or reach out on Twitter. Make sure you're subscribed to the newsletter on CodeKarate.com and make sure you're subscribed on YouTube. We'll see you next time. Goodbye.